Lee is a straight sucker. He ain't have to do the homie like that. I came from uptown, way uptown. I came from uptown, way uptown. I came from uptown, way. Hey, so I checked out the flick. School's out forever. It's an apocalyptic film that was directed by Oliver Milburn. It's about a team named Lee that's expelled from his private school during a virus outbreak that wipes out the majority of the population on Earth. His blood type makes him immune to the virus, but his pops falls victim to it, so his mom that's living in another country tells him to go back to school at St. Mark's for Boys where it's safe. A militia pulls up looking for one of their members that was seriously injured by the boys and that sets off a bloody battle. The film stars Oscar Kennedy as Lee Keegan, a prankster that's the son of an MP that's forced to grow up. That one kid, what was his name, Mark? He was played by Liam Lau Fernandez. He was the star of the film, man. Youngin was a super savage. I couldn't tell whether his character was killing to protect the boys or he was just a power hungry psychopath. But after they gave that teacher that swirly, I knew he was a Looney Tune. The way he was taking out the people in that militia had his own friends shook. You could only notice it was the end of the world in this movie when they left the school. There were empty roads, dead bodies, car wrecks, and empty homes they were able to raid for supplies. These scenes reminded me of The Walking Dead, but without the zombies. They added people that had lost their mind instead of zombies in this film, which made it entertaining though. I ain't gonna lie. But what they should have done was explored the virus and how people were catching it because I wanted to see how it ripped through society. But nonetheless, the visuals were cool. The first half of this movie plays out like a drama, but in the second half, it gets cracking. Man, this movie gets violent, bloody. If you're a fan of horror flicks, this movie's gory scenes were on point. This movie gets so dark, and I ain't even talking about the lighting. The movie managed to be jokes at times while giving off heavy Lord of the Flies vibes. There was a clear power struggle for control of the students and the school between the two main characters, Lee and Mark, while they were battling the militia. There were mad fatalities in this film. I think the worst one I seen had to be Death by Swirly. That was just straight nasty. RIP to that teacher, man. That's a terrible way to go. People got their necks broken, skewered, shot, and even set on fire. Ain't nothing like watching kids go to war. And this film was eye-opening because it was kids doing the killing. They even added a scene where the kickback on a rifle Heard a youngin's arm when he tried to shoot it. But you can tell that the youngins, they didn't even want to participate in the mayhem because they still listen to the enemy just because they were adults. Kids see adults as parental figures that they can trust. So a child soldier needs to be broken in. They didn't have time to break in the kids. They just threw them in the war, you know? in like a day or two. The story and the acting from the cast was on point for this film. But yo, Lee is a straight sucker. He didn't have to do the homie like that. Letting them bleed out like that had to be the second worst fatality. fatality. This movie right here is getting three mics from me. Let me know what y'all thought about Schools Out Forever in the comments below. It's free for y'all to support the channel by hitting that like button and subscribing too. So make sure y'all do that. And I'm gonna get up with y'all on the next video, all right? All at me. 
I came from Uptown, way uptown. I came from Uptown, way uptown. I came from Uptown, way.